You know, I think the congressional investigation, along with the various state investigations, those were a factor in the decision. But make no mistake about it, you know, it was a bigger picture than that. There was a granting criteria as well as the controversies that were surrounding Planned Parenthood. And it's no secret, Megan, that, you know, Komen and other organizations that were funding Planned Parenthood had been under pressure for some years, long before my time. Um, that had been going on the uh, the pressure around the controversy, mm-hmm. and uh, you know I'm not going to get into you know too much on the internal aspects of things, but you know this organization had a right to make what it felt was the best decision for the mission for the mission, mm-hmm. and I think everyone can agree that if you have a, a grantee where there's this type of controversy surrounding it, Coleman was doing its level best to move to neutral ground, and yeah. I will say I was asked to look at at options for doing that, some alternatives to do that. I was asked to do that, I looked at it, and I did. The celebration by many who are who consider themselves pro-life of the decision. Have you heard from those people uh, in the wake of your decision today and in the wake of the news that broke last week? I've not uh, personally heard today. It's been um, obviously um, a busy morning for me and trying to sort things through and, and making sure we carried everything forward appropriately. Um, as far as, you know, the, no one wanted to make this a celebration about anything. The whole purpose was to try to get to a place of neutral ground and move in that place so that Coleman was not in the middle of this, so that we yeah. could be squarely focused on our mission and serving the women.